Master Ken here with another Secret Street Fighting tip. Recently, some students messaged me and asked me if I had any wheelchair defense techniques. Wasn't sure why they would ask something like that, but then I started to analyze this situation and realized someone in a wheelchair can absolutely be a criminal. There's no rule that says someone in a wheelchair can't be a terrorist. Uh, he could have a, a, a gun or a knife or a bomb on him. Um, he could be breaking into my house to, uh, to assault me or my family, or, or maybe he's just looking for a can of WD-40. But the point is, he's broken the law, he's posed a threat to me, so I need to analyze him, figure out how do I defend myself against a destructive disabled, okay? First uh, thing that he has an advantage of is he is at striking distance with my groin. All the strikes he throws straight, gonna go right to my groin, gotta watch out for that. Secondly, he can use his body as a weapon. He can throw his limbs at me, and even if I catch one, if I strike it, He's not going to feel it, okay? So no advantage there. He is also going to have a very strong upper body. You know how uh, as people lose their sight, but then their other senses increase. They can hear trains or smell mint from long distances, right? Uh, a paraplegic tends to be very strong in the upper body because they use it all the time. So if I try to reach and grab the chair, he's going to grab me. I may not be able to get away. And then the biggest disadvantage I have is that he literally has wheels attached to his body. He is what is known as a centaur, which is Latin for half man, half machine. If I'm fighting him downhill on a decline and he starts wheeling after me, I'm not gonna be able to outrun him. He's gonna run me right over, so I gotta watch out for that too. So what do I do to defend myself in this situation, being attacked by someone in a wheelchair? First thing I'm gonna do, I gotta keep his hands busy, so I'm gonna fake high, which would technically be low in any other fight, right? If we were stand-up fighting, fake high would be up here. But if you're fighting someone that is sitting, voluntarily or otherwise, fake high is gonna be the new fake low. So chair high. So fake high. Then I'm gonna reach down, put the brakes on this criminal, literally decrease his mobility so that I can spin out of striking distance and stun him with a dragon punch to the back of the head. Okay? Now I'm going to use a move designed by the famous uh, dancer Frank Shapiro. It is called a pirouette. I can spin without losing my balance and getting in perfect position to get rid of this wheelchair wacko, take him right out of circulation with a step through sidekick like so. <laughs> then for your trouble, you might as well get yourself a chair. Just Self-defense takes a lot out of you, so. That's how to defend yourself against a destructive disabled. I'm Master Ken. Attention. Salute. Yes.